Hello there, I'm Drew and I make stuff. This video is in response to Maker Muse's video calling on 3D printer creators to answer these following questions. I might currently be a small creator, but I thought it would be fun to do, and who knows? Maybe in eight years I might be making another one, albeit more seasoned and grizzled. So without further ado, let's begin. When did you first hear about 3D printing? Well, I first heard of 3D printing back when I was in college. I got an email about 3D printing services offered in the library, and I was like, ooh, that's kind of neat, but I didn't pay too much attention to it. Then a few weeks later, I was in the student council office for some club stuff, and a student came around showing off some 3D prints he did, one of which was a print and place screw with a nut, and I was like, wow, that's actually pretty cool. What was the first thing you 3D printed? Well, the first thing every 3D printed would be this phone stand, which was a test model included in the first printer I got, the Flash Forge Binder. This is heavy. Okay. Fun fact, I got that as a bonus from work one year. It's like a, a Christmas bonus. Could have chosen between a few different gifts, like a vacuum, a speaker, a TV, something like that. And 3D printer was on the list. I thought, that sounds really neat. I'll, I'll go with that. The first thing I actually designed and printed, though, was this headphone desk hook. Pretty basic, but at the time, I thought it was super cool that I could design a custom solution to a problem I have. Do you view 3D printing as a hobby or a tool and why? After thinking about this for a while and going back and forth between tool, hobby, and both, I have to say the act of 3D printing itself is a hobby for me. The 3D printer machine I would consider a tool though, as it's necessary to print out 3D models that either design or find online. If I did 3D printing professionally and it was my full-time job, then I would consider it a tool. What is the best 3D printer according to you? If I'm only going based off personal experience, the Ender 3 is hands down the better printer between the Flash Forge Finder, simply because it has a heated bed, but also because it's very upgradable, whereas the Flash Forge Finder you can't really do anything with. Now, based off research and watching videos about different printers from different content creators, like Maker's Muse, the best printer kind of depends on what the person wants to do with the printer. If they just want to print stuff they see online and want an easy to use and reliable printer, I would suggest they look into Bamboo. If they want something that's more open source and upgradable, I would say a Prusa. And if they want something that's very much a project, I would look into a Voron. What is the number one tip for beginners? I would have to say patience. 3D printing requires a lot of patience. I mean, you have prints that can take up to days to complete, depending on how big the model is or the quality you want and the type of printer. Example, look at this snake I want to print. With the current setting, which are a 0.6 nozzle, 0.2 millimeter resolution, and 100% infill, it takes about two days. But if you were to drop it to a 0.2 nozzle, find super fine resolution and 100% infill, you're looking at four days, approximately, in addition to print time, you will at some point need to troubleshoot an issue with a 3D printer. Even the most reliable printers will have a failed print, and this can lead you down a deep and long rabbit hole trying to fix it. Take my Ender 3 for example. I was recently having issues with crackling and blobs on the walls of the print. At first I thought it was just due to year old pet G filament I was working with. I spent almost three days attempting to fix the issue. In the end, after swapping to a different filament and noticing the wall blobs, I realized the issue was with the hot end itself. Specifically, the thermistor wires were occasionally shorting out from touching. So yeah, gotta learn patience. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below with your answers. Maybe you have a better recommendation for a 3D printer. Click that subscribe button if you want to support me, and as always, keep on making stuff.